One phenomenon that goads me exceedingly in the realm of erudite pontification is the copious exploitation of an inanely obscure lexicon. Certain savants are known to wield vaingloriously abstruse vocabulary, ordinarily spurned by orthodox society, presumably to conspicuously augment their profundity to their retinue, who must then lugubriously consult the dictionary to figure out what the hell they were talking about. Ergo, one must speculate on the aspirations of communiques with such esoteric locutions. Is it to guilelessly impart a sagacious exegesis which the reader will facilely intuit? Or is it indecorous self-aggrandizement? Too often it is the latter, and to those literati, or should I say literazzi, might I apprise you of the subsequent precept. When you use cumbersome words that are so far removed from the plebeian vernacular, you do not show yourself to be so prodigiously sapient as on the periphery of societal norms and incapable of efficacious discourse with a materially and rudimentarily inclusive assemblage. Here's the bottom line. Just say what you mean. And there is such a thing as linguistic obsolescence. Words die. Words are also born. Ambigan, for example, is a perfectly cromulent word. Pompous verbosity can render your most salient postulates virtually pretermited, whereas real communications communicate something. Okay, so, uh, all that aside, I think that the best use for some words is a good round of fictionary. So, in the comments section, give me your best made-up definition for the word mesoprosopic. Mesoprosopic. So, extra points for etymology and uh, using it in a sentence. And if you make me laugh, I give you a thumbs up.